Hello and welcome to Something Different. We're here today at the magnificent Culain Castle in Scotland, a place that's steeped in history and mystery. In today's episode, we're going to delve into the fascinating history of this castle, explore its architectural grandeur and share some intriguing stories that surround this remarkable structure. Before we get started, if you enjoy our videos, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more amazing content like this. Perched on the cliffs of South Ayrshire, overlooking the Firth of Clyde, stands the majestic Culain Castle. This castle is a testament to Scotland's rich history and architectural grandeur. It was once the home of the Marquess of Ailsa, the chief of Clan Kennedy, but is now owned by the National Trust for Scotland. This castle isn't just a historical monument, it's a symbol of national pride, so much so that it was featured on the reverse side of five pound notes issued by the Royal Bank of Scotland from 1972 until 2015. The construction of the castle was ordered by the 10th Earl of Cassillis. He commissioned the architect Robert Adam to transform a basic structure into a grand country house, the seat of his earldom. The castle was built in stages between 1777 and 1792. The castle incorporates a large drum tower with a circular saloon inside which overlooks the sea, a grand oval staircase and a suite of well-appointed apartments. It's a marvel of 18th century architecture. In 1945, the Kennedy family gave the castle and its grounds to the National Trust for Scotland to avoid inheritance tax. They stipulated that the apartment at the top of the castle be given to General Dwight D. Eisenhower in recognition of his role as Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Europe during the Second World War. Eisenhower first visited the castle in 1946 and stayed there four times, including once while he was President of the United States. The castle grounds include a walled garden, which is built on the site of the home of a former slave owned by the Kennedy family, Scipio Kennedy. This castle isn't just known for its history and architecture, it's also reputed to be home to at least seven ghosts, including a piper and a servant girl. The most famous ghost story is that of the piper. He and his dog were sent into the caves below the castle to prove to locals that the caves weren't haunted. The piper started playing his pipes at the foot of the cliffs and entered the caves, followed by his loyal dog. The sound of the pipes could be heard from inside the castle, high above on top of the cliffs. As the sound started to fade, people assumed the piper was making his way through the caves. But then the piping stopped, the occasional barks from the piper's dog stopped, and no one emerged from the cave's exit. The piper and his dog were never seen or heard from again. Local legend says that on the eve of a Kennedy family wedding, the sound of pipes can be heard emanating from the caves below the castle and a lone figure can be seen standing on Piper's Bray. One of the paintings at the top of the oval staircase is a portrait of Margaret Erskine of Dunn, the wife of the 12th Earl of Cassilis, later the first Marquess of Ailsa. There are stories of a strange mist moving from one side of the stairs to the other always starting in front of the portrait of Margaret. The state bedroom on the first floor is allegedly the most haunted room of the castle. A young girl is said to also run along the corridors close to the kitchen. Many guests have reported seeing a black or grey apparition ascending the stairs from the ground floor to the first floor. These stories have been taken so seriously that when the most haunted team visited the castle to film an episode, they chose to concentrate on the areas where the young girl and the black or grey apparition were reported to be seen. Over the years, Culain has been a popular location for film and television. It was used as the castle of Lord Summerisle in the 1973 cult film The Wicker Man, 
and has featured in several documentaries and TV series. Kulen Castle is not just a historical monument, it's an experience. With its rich history, stunning architecture, beautiful gardens, and intriguing ghost stories, it offers something for everyone. We highly recommend a visit to this majestic castle when you're in Scotland, but this castle is just the beginning. The coast of Ayrshire is dotted with many more castles, each with its own unique story and charm. We can't wait to share these with you in our future videos. So, if you enjoyed this video and are excited to explore more castles with us, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Something Different. Your support helps us bring you more amazing content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning. Goodbye.